annual Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Rally is underway here in Washington, but this year the bikes may be getting upstaged by, of all things, a bus. Sarah Palin is kicking off her bus tour of patriotic places today, but first she is expected to ride a motorcycle to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Peter Ducey is live at the Pentagon in the middle of it all with some 400,000 bikers are gathered and ready to go. Hi, Peter. Hey, Shane, you can see behind me and you hear it, really. I can feel it. The Rolling Thunder has just started their ride from here in Northern Virginia at the Pentagon across the bridge into Washington to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Governor Sarah Palin was one of the first ones to leave on the back of someone else's motorcycle. She was here with her husband, Todd, and some of their children as well. A lot of people ho hollering at her in the crowd, wanting to know if she was going to run for president. She kept saying, I don't know yet. I got a chance to ask her very quickly if this kind of thing is what we should expect from the rest of her bus tour. Listen. Governor, are all your, are all your events in, uh, on the bus tour going to be this loud? Oh, it would be a blast if they were this loud, if they smelled this good. I love that smell of the emissions. And I don't know if you could really tell from that picture, but there was a huge crush of people. People were very, very excited for the most part to see her, although we did hear a few people who were worried when they saw the crush of all the media and all the people, it was, they were worried that it was going to be a little bit distracting from what the Rolling Thunder is trying to do, which is bring awareness to servicemen and women overseas who are still missing in action or captured from this the wars that are ongoing or previous wars, but overall she received a very, very positive response. Now, when she gets over to the Vietnam uh, Veterans Memorial with all the other riders, she is not going to speak, and she did not speak here. This is not a Palin campaign event, but they are later on going to hear from Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, who's going to retire at the end of June, as well as, well as the Secretary of, or rather, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen. Shannon.